Hey, it's Jill with Crick Flex. Um, project I'm going to be working on today is um, some 3D snowflakes with um, personalization done on them. Um, okay, yeah, I got it right. First thing is, is I did a Google search of a snowflake and I came up with this pattern. This is actually the offset pattern because I've already got it glued together. Um, this was the, the pattern inside. There's a lighter gray. It's it's a light it's a light um, metallic paper. It's not a glitter paper on the front. It's a it's a shiny metallic silver. And then I did a little bit of glitter just for accents on it. And then the the back of it is just a solid gray cardstock. I probably should have done this. I didn't think of videotaping it until I got it halfway done and then I thought oh, I should be taping this because this is something that I hadn't done before. Um, the snowflake itself is six inches and then of course the offset is the point zero five and I just taped or glued the layers together and then I'm, I'm going to show you how I made this piece and show you what I'm going to do with it. Um, it is a three quarter inch wide strip of paper that I cut using my Martha Stewart paper cutter and then what I did is I took my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I just laid it up tight butted this piece up and took a score pen and did quarter inch score marks all the way down this 12 inch strip of paper I'm not going to do this whole thing because it's not necessary. This isn't even the right color. I just grabbed it to show you. Um, I switch and use the wide end so it doesn't tear my paper. And I did quarter inch score marks. There's a little piece of paper on the back here. Let me take that off. Make sure that you don't have a, a sticker on the back of your paper because um, it makes it a little bit thicker and then harder to fold. And then I score away and then all I did is where I had each one of these score I bent them back and forth like you would a fan um, and did the whole thing the 12 inch piece like that when I got it all done um, it folded it made an accordion or fan let me see here and I folded at least until where I had the full mark and then I just pinched it together so it was real tight and then I it, I glued the two ends together like that and it made this so I was able to shape it in a circle which I glued to each one of my snowflakes because I want these dimensional so I, that's how I made those I call them rosettes but actually I don't know what they're really called but I took hot glue and glued each one of them on to the center of the snowflake. Then I took and made a scallop edge that is three and a quarter inches made out of the same um, paper that's going to go on the top. And then I have a circle that's done in a li really light gray. It almost looks like it's purple, but it's not. It's gray. Two and a half inch circle that's going to go on the top. Let me glue this on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and center this first. Take this center on to my scalloped circle. And I am going to take, then I had picked up at Michael's. I usually make, make my own letters out of glitter. However, I picked up some glitter. Um, these are chipboard little glitter letters that have sticky backs on them. Um, they were having a Black Friday sale. And normally I do not like to buy packs of letters. However, um, in this particular case, I usually buy my Recollections uh, glitter packs. However, uh, they did not have the, uh, the metals colors, the silver and gold and copper and, and bronze. They did not have those in stock. And I did not, well, I chose to buy these rather than buying one. They didn't have any of the silver I liked of glitter paper to cut out. That one's not quite centered. And 
the ones that they did have were really heavy glitters and I was afraid of it not cutting really well and I didn't want to push it because I need to get this done and I did not want it to not cut out the really thick so I bought the chipboard glitter letters which all in all look the same when you get them done and then I'm going to take hot glue and I'm just going to go around my little accordion pattern here up here that I have and I'm going on the tips to the inside of the circle um, not on the outer edges and then I'm going to take and set my O right on top. So from the side you can see how it's lifted and gave it that 3D look and there it is from the front. So let me see here. I've got uh, oh, let me do another one here. I'm gonna take my scallop and and I'll tell you what. I, I, well, I I know I can go online and order it. This tape is not this um, ATG, the Scotch tape that they carry, like in Michaels and and Hobby Lobby and. Joanne Fabric. Um, I go to store to store and when one's out they're all out and I, um, I usually procrastinate when I need tape and I don't tape it till, or I don't order it until I'm down to my last box and you would think that by now I would have learned not to do that because when I need it no one has it. See, and then when I glue it like that, you can't see any of the glue on the inside because it's on, on the point that's on the inside. And I'm going to do my next letter. So anyway, I'm running out of tape again. Okay. Had a wonderful Thanksgiving week, weekend, week, few days. Um, we um, got snow. Actually, we had a different, couple different snowfalls. And... Last night we all went, they um, opened this, there's a gorgeous hotel here right on the lake that's, it's called um, the Edgewater and they recently for the first time ever opened a, uh, made a, it's like Rockefeller Center. I went and put on my Facebook where I put pictures of it, our own little uh, local Central Park, it's not Central Park that it looks like, it looks like Rockefeller Center. They did the, the skating rink and all the trees surrounding it. We went there and took the grandkids the other night. And right when we got there, um, Charlie Bear, my little granddaughter that's just about ready to turn three next month, or in January, it's almost next month, tomorrow's the 1st of December. But anyway, we got out of the car and we were all getting right into the rink and all of a sudden Charlie started projectile vomiting um, right in the stairway. Um, bless her heart, but I don't know what it was. She was, this is the daughter um, that's going through the divorce. She was with her daddy out of town on Thanksgiving Day. We had spent, we celebrated Thanksgiving on Wednesday and then my kids who have their other halves, um, fiance and, and spouses, um, could spend Thanksgiving Day going to their family so that they didn't have to run all over the place. We decided we we're starting this year changing our tradition and doing our Thanksgiving on Wednesday instead of on Thursday. And you know what? It was fabulous. It was said, um, if I would have known it was going to be that, it was awesome. And I think I would do that. Well, I don't think. We are going to be doing that from now on because this way we didn't have to juggle, our kids didn't have to juggle with going to try and go to two and three houses in a day. They spent the entire day into the evening um, here and we had a wonderful dinner. It was just absolutely wonderful day. Watched movies at night. It was just, it was awesome. And then my daughter and I went Black Friday shopping. Um, actually Thanksgiving night, which I swore I would never do that again. I uh, did it years ago and decided to 
to do it because I still had some Christmas shopping to do. Not going to believe it, but I'm almost done with my Christmas shopping. Almost done. And I like to have my shopping done at the very, very early in the season because, or into the holidays because that way I can sit back and enjoy. And whenever the kids want to go somewhere, like on these skating outings and things like that, I can go and be able to juggle my my work, my this work, my my shop work. Because everybody knows that follows. I don't know if they know because I don't think I've made a video, but I did retire from my other job officially last week. I retired. Um, never been so excited. It's just awesome, you know, it's just awesome. No more of that, no more. No more of anybody controlling when and when I when I can and when I cannot be off for the holidays. And and I just, it's it's absolutely fabulous. I do take care of three of my grandkids. Um, so I stay busy and I do have my, my Crickflix business. So it's not like I don't do anything. But I don't have to work my other job, which was beginning, beginning to be uh, a nightmare. Hated it. Um, sorry if anybody there's listening to me, but hated it. It was getting to be way too much. I paid my dues. Done. I'm going to take, which I should have done beforehand, but I just thought of it now, is I'm going to take a silver, maybe. Maybe that one's out of ink. And let's try and spec another one. If I have another one that's not out of ink. And I do. I'm going to do some faux stitching and I should have done it before I put these together. That was really dumb. But put some silver faux stitching around my letters and just to add a little bit. Anyway, um, we did go, I started to tell you a story, we did go ice skating and I have not ice skated. I have not been on a pair of ice skates in probably 30 some years. And all I kept thinking is, do I or do I not dare? Um, I'm kind of one of those that likes to go with the flow, and if everybody else is going to do it, I'm going to do it as well. However, I'm not in my 20s anymore, and I need to remind myself periodically that I'm not, but I decided to go skating. Well, everybody says it like riding a bike. Uh, no, it's not like riding a bike, because um, I go bike riding in the summertime. Um, I bike, um, especially before I had my knee surgery. Um, I didn't go after because it took a while longer for my knee to get the full bend that you need for biking. But I'll start again in the spring with it, when the weather gets nice. Um, I'll start up my biking again. But I don't think I'll... I used to be an avid roller skater too and I thought, oh, you know, I could roller skate better than I could walk. Loved roller skate. I thought, ah, oh, how hard could it be? I hadn't been on ice skates in 30 some years. Well, thank God I did not fall. But my son took me for the first swing around the rink. Um, my son-in-law was taking videos. I think he was sitting on the sitting on the edge there because he was holding little Isabel, um, who's only a year old. She couldn't go skating, of course. He was holding her and filming, and um, I. To me, when I was looking at the film, I thought, oh my gosh, you look just like those people I see, or those old ladies I see on these movies, these comedy movies. It was pretty comical of me um, trying to ice skate. And not only that, the last time I was ice skating is when they had the white women's ice skates. And the ones I had in last night looked like the hockey skates. And the ones that clip shut, kind of like rollerblading. Rollerblading is not the same as roller skating. I roller skated on an in a indoor roller rink. Um, never could, tried to roller blade, and I could stand up and I could do it fairly well, but I couldn't stop. Never did learn how to stop. So every time I go out roller, blade, roller, roller blading with one of my kids, if they were gonna take a corner or stop to cross the street, I had to throw myself on the ground, on the frontage, on the ground, because I couldn't ever figure out how to stop. Um, too old to do that now because I would break something. Um, I was able to stop when I was skating last night. Um, after I went, my second round was with Jenna. My future daughter-in-law took me around the second time around the rink. And the third try was on my own. 
and I did it. I made it around the rink a few times. I'd have to go around once and sit and um, catch up, catch uh, the courage to go around again because I was terrified of somebody coming up from behind me and bumping me because I knew if you a slight bump and I would have bit the dust. But my grandkids were absolutely thrilled to death because I was skating and they were Kendall started skating lessons and she kept whipping around me and and um, I couldn't get them to understand slightest breeze near me was liable to put me on my butt but I'm happy to say I did not fall down I did not come home with any broken bones no nicks no scratches came home we had hot chocolate and I made pan de jamon which is a Venezuelan bread homemade bread stuffed with ham bacon olives and and um, um, raisins and I made four loaves before we left so we all came home and had that and some hot chocolate so it was all in all a good week for Thanksgiving and today is the last day okay now I'm gonna take pictures of this and I'm all done yeah, let me know what you think and the next thing I'm gonna be working on is I don't have any idea <laughs> anyway have a good night bye bye